in this next clip, we for, this is from uh, the uh, right after the killing of Osama bin Laden. This wasn't covered in the American media. There was a large protest in front of the American Embassy in uh, London, and they were mourning the death of Osama bin Laden. Let's take a look. there to uh, counter protesting and here you have the uh, London Bobbies trying to control the crowd which it seemed like they have their hands full to say the least It's a large protest and it's kind of shocking to see in London that large a protest by Muslim well, hardliners. There's a Sharia to dominate the world. the counter protesters but the EDL counter protesters it was a fairly large rally obviously This is, this is also uh, from the same protest, I believe. The uh, EDL was counter-protesting against the Muslim mourners. Obviously, uh, sounds like two Muslim women talking, and they're they're talking about what's going on in England, where you have Muslim hardliners actually trying to tell Muslim women, and even possibly non-Muslim women who live in certain neighborhoods or who are, which are predominantly Muslim. There are there are large predominantly Muslim neighborhoods in England, and London especially. And the Muslims are trying to pressure and force women in those neighborhoods to wear burqas. This is what's going on in England, a Western country. I'm not wearing it, am I? Right, but you're not a Muslim extremist, you're not what Islam is like. Right, but, but they are two different. What they're saying is Islam is turned into a show. Well, because of Adjim Chowbury. No, I don't want to. I'm not a speaker. I'm not an official speaker. No, thank you. Why are you here? 
wanted to die. Why? Because some because Arjun Chai was cut off the way in Pai for some of the money. Come to give him a few more prayer and that's what we're going to do. You're going to pray to someone who killed thousands upon thousands of people. What about your lot? What have they done? What have we done? We're marching to get where we're going to celebrate King Arjun. Yeah, they won't celebrate his death. That's what they're here for. They're counter-demonstrating a Muslim extremist about King Arjun. You can't have a start there doing that. Enough. I mean, that is a terrorist. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom and that, fighter. And what is that? Give him the right to spread so and kill innocent people on the streets of London, yeah. of America, outside yeah. yeah. to celebrate yeah. in his life, outside yeah. the American embassy, yeah. on the streets of London. I thought most of you were against smoking cannabis. You're a friend, sir. She says she doesn't have to cover up if she doesn't want to. Well, in Britain, if those Muslim hardliners have their way, you will have to cover up. And overseas, when you go to a Muslim country such as Saudi Arabia, you have to cover up. Indeed. So you're quite happy for someone to go and slaughter millions of people? They go as far as it was just tit for tat. It's going back further than that. It's not about 9-11. Yeah. It isn't about that. It's he about giving him first, prayer. 2001, taking off millions of people, thousands of people, firefighters, policemen, people who were just doing so their I'm job all day long. Right? And then America strikes right. back. And then he goes and does I'm 7 7 <laughs> And somehow people think that that's right. It's not right. It's not right. We know what's right. Well, they what, blowing up people's right? Well, we don't know children, who blew who up, do people we? People with special needs, no, that's right. Sorry. We as, we uh, a suicide bomber. That's what they're planning to do. That's what they do, no, do. that's what the scientists have done. And that's what not the Americans have done. No, it isn't. Oh, well, it's the Zionists now. The Zionists are part of it. Blame it on the Jews. Yes. It's exactly well, him who has done so everything else. Not not, it's been proved that he has done this all. People are allowed to He is use. allowed. Right. How about the view that he's People supposed to have a on his property? He was growing loads and loads of coffee properties. Oh, well, 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 Muslims were against smoking. I think it's right. Yes, you have every right to protest. I believe people have a right to protest. And say what they feel. Freedom of speech. A freedom of speech, and you have freedom of speech in Muslim countries under Sharia law. Is that true? In Muslim countries, you have freedom of speech. Are Muslim countries known for freedom of speech? There might be a few, maybe Morocco, and now maybe Egypt, maybe, but. Certainly in Saudi Arabia, you do not have freedom of speech. In Afghanistan, uh, Afghanistan, that's touchy. You may or may not have freedom of speech in Afghanistan. Just depends on whether there are any suicide bombers or any government officials who don't like what you're saying around. On the one hand, you got the suicide bombers. On the other side, on the other hand, you got the government officials. If you can speak in such a way that neither side will want to attack you, arrest you, or blow you up, then yes, you have freedom of speech. What about in Pakistan? Do you have freedom of speech in Pakistan? There's a democracy in Pakistan, but what's going? What's really going on in Pakistan? The uh, the Taliban, the Pakistan Taliban and the religious parties have a uh, chokehold around Pakistan right now. 
there's a minority minister, as a, as a woman minority minister recently, she was killed, assassinated, and then the assassin is praised as a hero. So, freedom of speech in Pakistan is really iffy and probably non-existent in reality because if you do exercise your freedom of speech, then you might get shot at, killed.